The next little new tool that we're going to investigate really makes data analysis and interrogation a lot, lot faster. It's to do with pivot tables. Now you may have used pivot tables previously, but using the new recommended pivot tables tool, you'll find that they are a lot easier, much better to understand. The first thing we need is a set of data, which we have here inside the employees info file. And then there's a sheet within there called TBL employees. This contains 99 employees and their names and addresses, etc., etc. Now using a pivot table, we can summarize this data. So if we go to insert on the ribbons, recommended pivot tables, and up pops a number of recommended pivot tables. Firstly, they offer the option to count how many people are in each different marital status. So I can see the 43 married, nine divorced, 47 single, and one with no entry. Or you could have the sum of the salary split by marital status. So that adds up the salary for married, for divorced, and for single people. We could sum the gender for the marital status. So effectively, working out how many people are of each gender. We have the count of ID and the sum of salary and how much those titles then earn. So one sir earns 41,500. 40 misses earn 267,442 altogether. So if any of these pivot tables are what you're after, nice summaries of that data, we simply choose the one we would like. Let's go for count of ID. There's more down the scroll bar. Sum of salary, sum of salary by county. This one you can see has some plus signs, which indicates that we have a grouping in there. Sum of salary by department. So the total salary bill for each department. Sum of gender by department, which gives us the total of males and females within each department. Sum of sex by county and sum of sex by title. I quite like that one. Sum of total salary by department. And I quite like the first one, the marital ID. So let's go with the marital ID. OK. And we get a pivot table in a new sheet. So you're in sheet one. And you can see that with the pivot table selected, you have your options over here to make a change, to decide to do something different. But that's quite good for a little recommended table. A couple of clicks, we go back to employees and we can run it again. So insert recommended pivot tables. Some of the salaried by department. OK. And that inserts a new pivot table, so a new summary table inside a new sheet. In this case called sheet two, we can rename and with the pivot table selected, so you have to be in this for that to appear. If I click out, you see it disappears. But once you are in it, you can then make other changes as to what goes where. Very, very easy. In your data, insert recommended pivot tables and choose whichever of the recommendations you like. I made a suggestion that sum of salary by county, because of the pluses, looks like quite a good one. So let's say OK. And you'll see that it's summing the salary by county, but you can actually expand that out and show each individual area within that county. So in this case, each street. So we could expand out T side and we get all the streets within there. We get the summaries of salary by street and then the total for each county. So that's a grouped pivot table, all done with no knowledge of how to actually do that. We just get the recommended pivot table to do it for us. Very, very easy, very, very quick. So even for those people knowledgeable about pivot tables, it's a nice quick way of getting you your pivot table that you can then customize. So insert, let's have one more recommended pivot tables. And let's go for sum of sex by marital status. Now the reason I'm picking this, if we say OK, is we get our table. But what it's doing is actually adding up the sum of the sex. Now males are one, females are two. So that's actually skewing the count. It's coming out as a grand total of 137 when there are only 99 people in the records. The reason for that is it's summing the sex when really it should be counting them. So here we have sum of sex. I can go into there and change what the field is doing and change it to count. It's doing what pivot tables have always done, which is on a numeric field, assuming that you want to sum, and then on a text field, assuming that you want to count. In this case, I want to count. And then I get 100 people instead of 137 where it was effectively double counting females because they have a two. And we have 43 married, nine divorced, 47 single, and one blank. So it's just something to watch that it doesn't choose the wrong function dealing with the values that go in the bit that does the calculation. We were summing the values of the salary, that's okay. 
then we're summing the value of the salaries there, so that's okay. And we're counting the IDs there, so that's fine. So it's just when it tries to sum the numeric field that you don't want it to sum, you actually want it to count them. You would change that by going to the drop list, value settings, and choosing one of the other functions. But apart from that little caveat, great new little tool, all you need to do is click in data, insert recommended pivot tables, and choose the one from the list of many that it recommends.